Hello my friends and welcome to my new tutorial. I am SV and today we will talk about glass crushes. So I show you very small example of the sun. We take a plane, we take a sphere, reduce little bit radius, go up like this, add Mograph Voronoi fracture, put inside go and create redshift material I will do it normal glass so take out a color uh, increase up to one refraction make maybe I wear 152 so and add this to my sphere okay what I have uh, sphere still not crushed but if I will render it, just a moment, one second, okay, if I render it, I already can see some crushes places, yeah, how to avoid this problem, so, in today's video, I will show you how to make like this, or like this, As you can see, before touching of the hammer, my window, my glass, like uh, a solid. So, again, welcome to new my tutorial and let's start. We are in Cinema 4D and first of all I create a glass aquarium. So just normal cube, increase up to 400 centimeters and send it to edge table. Go to polygon selection, take upper polygon and push on your keyboard delete. So we have like this box. Go to rectangle selection, take all of them right click go to extrude don't forget to push this button create cups if you don't push it you have like this inside no any cups yeah push this button and make i don't know maybe only five centimeters not necessary make bigger okay after that go back to model uh, and okay our glass aquarium created so what we will do now go and create a sphere make very small radius maybe only 10 and reduce segments i don't know i put about 16 we don't need more to avoid any stack of your computer during calculation so go to mograph uh, cloner and put the sphere inside to the cloner what i have to do now i take the sphere drag uh, sorry hold counter on your keyboard and drag down again and make a copy total will be seven spheres why seven spheres because i like to make all rainbow colors it's just just my idea okay uh cloner settings uh, properties go to cloners and make a random mod grid array so what we say, uh, what setting I use for grid array? I have to put too much balls inside in this aquarium glass. So here I will put I don't know maybe eight, uh, maybe sixteen. Okay, very good. Go to top view and start decrease. I don't know maybe it will be seventy. Start increase to give some places. Okay, three hundred seventy very nice put up and increase i don't know maybe 15 will be 15 and we will make it 300 so very nice very nice we have too much balls really too much just push little bit down 
Okay. What we will do now? Go to cloner, go to tax, simulation tag, rigid body. In the settings of rigid body, first of all go to collision, into read tag, apply to children, it means this tag will apply to all these seven uh, spheres, and individual elements, yes, all. Shapes, for fast calculation we will use ellipsoid, yeah, because this is like sphere ellipse, it's almost the same. So, collision noise, zero. All other we can keep like this without any problem. And trigger immediately. Now we are going to cube, tags, simulation tag, and we do collider body. In collider body I go to collision, uh, reduce collision noise up to zero, I, and reduce bounce up to zero, I don't need some bounce. So, and shapes, don't forget to change shapes, I will make a, okay, moving mesh, moving mesh will be good. So, before start simulation, I go to edit, project settings, and dynamic. In dynamic, I go to expert, and steps per frame, I increase in twice, maybe in 10. Okay, now I increase uh, frames, maybe 200 will be good, and push play. Okay. Spheres going inside in my aquarium. Very nice. I wait a little bit because some spheres still moving, some spheres, as you can see, have some jumps, bounce, friction. So I will wait almost up to finish of my 200 frames. After that I push pause, go to tag, uh, rigid body tag from cloner, go to dynamic and put set initial state. What does mean? It means when I start from beginning, my spheres will be already inside. So I no need make again this simulation. It is enough for us. What I will do now? I go to cube, go to MoGraph, and create Voronoi fracture. Put my cube inside. Okay, I see it's already coming some some segments go inside and fracture and we change some few settings first of all i no need any colorized segments i go to display and make like this so i will see these segments yeah uh, then i going to source point generator and increase i don't know maybe in 10 times how many I will have segments. For a moment I will do 200 just for calculate my animation. In beginning it's enough because I have too much spheres, I have too much um, pieces of this aquarium, so uh, to avoid any stack of computer I will keep like this. I create now some small scene, so I don't like to make any additional modeling. For this reason I go to normal resource of uh, Cinema 4D. Go to presets, go to broadcast, if it's installed in your computer, go to 3D, 3D objects and tools. So from this place I take a hammer, just normal hammer. Very good. Then I go to visual, visualize 3D object and table. I will use coffee table, this way I really like it. Okay, double click. So now I have my hammer and my coffee table. First of all, I have to take this and this and pick up. As you can see, my coffee table is very, very small. So I go to coffee table, go to coordinates and increase scale, uh, scale in time time. Okay, very good. Very good. Now I have table. Now I take a hammer 
and increase i don't know maybe i just little bit pick up it you see very small hammer increase seven times very good now i have hammer okay what i'll do now just to set up some simulation okay maybe this i will turn up to 90 degrees and i will keep like this very good what i'll do now go to render settings output and i use very wide vision and frame rate 25 for calculation okay i'll keep like this go to redshift and reduce up to i don't know four and four only just for primal primal calculation take out here go to system bucket rendering increase to maximum and use spiral okay so here i have some material which is going automatically together with uh, my object first of all i have to change this material to redshift material because i will use redshift first of all i will add some material which is i already created glass to voronoi fracture very good uh, maybe here also for both redshift material go inside to the settings for reflection i will put 0 0.2 and for color just normal red so very beautiful color hold contour on your keyboard drag drag and make like this for seven different materials double click for second one change for orange okay next one change for yellow next green next blue will be like a rainbow and last one violet somewhere maybe here okay very nice so apply these colors to my sphere red orange yellow green light blue blue and violet okay very nice so render and check what we have now okay i understood some material is not working not working because this is not a redshift material so go to redshift now we create a material for my table this yes we have to change this material for redshift material go inside go to the settings take a texture and we create standard texture with bump color correction and from utilities take a bump map so color correction saturation put to the zero bump i don't know maybe we will put 0 0.5 just in beginning in texture i download from my desktop i already prepare some wood mystic brown call it okay drag to the redshift material and diffuse color then here here now we are making a bump map in my previous videos tutorials i will tell about this more information sorry okay like this and roadness i don't know maybe 0.4 will be like this enough okay very good so how to apply this material to all materials of the table i take this material hold alt on your keyboard and drag and put here automatically replace it okay now i change some hammer material so create one two three material first of all will be a shaft just normal yellow color so i go here create maybe yellow maybe dark yellow like this little bit increase uh, sharps it's enough okay alt on your keyboard drag and drop now we create some uh, metal 
go in here add material how to create metal first of all take you take out your diffuse uh, go down color h10 make a white so it will be like a chrome and increase maybe 0.5 like this okay very nice take it hold alt on your keyboard drag and drop here and last one handle yeah just like a plastic black so it's not important to make a oh so i don't need one more it's not important to make absolutely same it's just a tutorial okay maybe like this maybe like dark brown okay very good and 0 0.2 so like like maybe like plastic okay no 0 0.3 I will keep like this. If you need, you can add some bump, some additional reflection, but I don't need it. Okay, so render now and check what we have. Okay, as you can see, now is everything working, but what's the problem? Problem is my glass already crushed. Hammer still not touching, but glass already crushed. So how to set up this scene? First of all, first of all, I will put my aquarium in proper position. Take this and this and put a little bit down. Maybe somewhere here. Okay. Now go to top view. Take my hammer. Mm -hmm. So maybe I will do like this select all of them and connect and delete okay now i have only one single object put somewhere here okay very good what i'll do now just check if it's same level or maybe downstairs okay like this So, uh, in frame number zero, go to hammer, coordinates, and hold this keyframe. Go to frame number maybe 20, yeah? Drag somewhere here. And turn. Maybe like maybe like this okay hammer again what we have from frame number zero hammer start turning and boom boom very good okay very nice look okay my balls going down why 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 I don't know why ah, okay because I have to add here okay you see hammer is coming boom very good but now it's not working how to make how to set up it okay we are going to Voronoi fracture at our I delete and I add from beginning yeah simulation tag rigid body tag okay is created what I will do now, I go to Voronoi Fracture, I go to Basic and I make Disable. And this is again solid. If I render, I cannot see any crush it. You see, it is solid. So, uh, what I will do, I play it doesn't matter balls going down but doesn't matter for a moment we no need it okay from top view one by one frames okay it's mean frame number 18 i still need solid aquarium and frame number 19 hammer already touching and i need crush it so 18 
Voronoi Keyframe 19 Enable Keyframe So, check how it's working mm -hmm. Additionally, go here Go to Collision Mode Apply Children to All and make a Okay, moving Go to Hammer Go to Tax Simulation tag, rigid body, uh, make, I don't know, maybe convex hull and go to dynamic and make trigger like a, a velocity peak. So check what we have. Okay, it's going down because my table, my table, my table, going to table, coffee table, going to tax, simulation. Collider body, collision, apply to child, children, to all, take out collision noise, make a friction, maybe, I don't know, maybe 100, bones only 20. I will use a moving mesh, or maybe convex hull, okay. So, check now. Hammer coming and boom! Nothing happened. It's too late. Too late. We check again. What's the problem from top? Again. Hammer coming. Go to Voronoi and check one by one. Boom. Okay. What I have to do, one frame before. Take this frame and one frame before. Okay, check again what I have. Uh, boom. You see, yeah? Going to settings and adjust something. Collision noise, zero. Friction. We will keep like this, like this, nothing change. Okay, check again. Maybe we will do one frame also before. Bam. Yeah. One frame before. Take and make from 16 up to 17 activation. And little bit change settings for hammer. I go to mass custom density and make maybe five okay what I have hammer coming BAM yes you see you see what happened okay very nice very nice if I push pause and make a render I have like this Okay, preparation taking long time and I forget to add some lights. So like before, okay, you see yeah, very nice, very nice, too much glass, balls, very colored picture. So I go to redshift light, add doom light and for doom light I will add some HDR map Diva Studio with softbox. So and downstairs I disable background I no need it absolutely so check again and now you will see a different of course it's taking a little bit more time not 16 seconds maybe maybe 20 seconds because applied some uh, ref reflection refract refraction so but will be more beautiful check it yeah okay what was without light what is with light so very big difference this is of course more beautiful so and now we set up a camera and slow-mo how to set up slow-mo we are going to edit project settings and in dynamic we are going to general so time scale time scale it is uh, like a 100% this is like a normal time so check again animation hammer coming 
I maybe maybe a little bit decrease like this. Hammer coming. Boom. Okay. Frame number 20, it start moving everywhere. Frame number 25. Like this. And what I will do? I go to frame number 20 and make game frame. 25 and reduce maybe up to 5 okay and keep like this how much i don't know maybe maybe two seconds so uh 35 45 50 it will be one second and 75 it will be two second so again time lapse five frames more and 100 back so what i have coming very fast boom now my time start coming automatically down and you see yes it's like a time lapse like matrix movie okay and after frame 75 time scale again increasing and very fast okay so very beautiful okay and we are set up a camera settings create a just normal camera okay first of all i go to options configuration view and increase opacity just to see my uh, render window yeah go to camera create camera and maybe a little bit put up you know why because i like to see um legs of my table it's very beautiful maybe like this so check render if it's good or not yeah yeah why not i like it i like it very nice so for camera i have to add two tags one of them will be aligned to spline and other will be a target for what first of all i create a circle go to top view okay i have a circle i make like this xz and i increase the radius of this circle what size when my circle touch middle of camera like this okay then i go to front view and pick up the circle on the camera level like this and what i will do now i take a camera tag align to spline and take the circle and drag down so my circ my camera automatically going to this line if i will use like this you see camera moving around but how to fix a uh, center of the camera position for this i have to use a tag so create just normal null object go to tag target and drag this null object here okay it is inside so and what i will do now little bit pick up my null object until will i will be satisfied so like this very nice and check if i go to this tag align to spline and start move you see yeah very nice okay how to animate it uh, as you remember my time lapse coming from 20 up to 80 so i going to 20 frame make position 0 and to 80 frame make position 100 how it will be check hammer coming okay hammer coming from other side for this reason what i have to do because i like to see hammer from my side for this reason i go to circle go to rotation rotate tools and just turn 180 degrees okay again 
hammer coming inside uh, aquarium bam glasses and camera start movies time lapse you see a uh, matrix movie okay and after frame number 80 it will be again very fast okay very nice now we can make one more render to check how it will be a little bit wait because really too much meshes too much object some simulation and my computer calculate everything come on just for your information i have two video adapters geforce 980 okay you see yeah so very very beautiful very beautiful picture so i'm going to set up my renders all frame save inside in this folder and i use png file after that push render and see you in after effects so when your render will finish go inside after effect double click take your glass crush and make import drag and drop to new composition check what we have boom very good very nice and how to add sound so inside an in internet i take some sounds glass break derbies and time freeze time freezes from video copilot put inside in my composition and first i will use time freeze time freeze so where is i will use it when camera start turning just go okay somewhere here i make like this check what we have okay very nice uh, now i take a glass break put inside open to see uh waveform okay first of all somewhere here i will put start of my glass break what i will do then uh, for sound like for video you can apply a time remapping I'll do like this, then going somewhere here and make keyframe. Okay, very good. Then going somewhere here and make one more keyframe. After that, I increase up to, I don't know, somewhere maximum. Take two of these frames and put like this. So, during my uh, remapping the sound will come in very very low and it will be like this you see very nice yeah and i think i will reduce little bit sound so push here just few frames more push zero go somewhere here again keyframe and somewhere here make a zero very nice and last one debris chunky folly put down check the waveform and maybe transfer somewhere somewhere here like this go to end go to last frame and reduce sound okay what last one is layer new solid just black one put up going to opacity go to first frame go to five frame letter make a zero go to last frame make 100 and maybe 10 frames before maybe somewhere here put again zero okay check what we have
So, my tutorial is finished. If you like my tutorial, please subscribe, please share to your friends, please uh, put like, I don't know, and send to me some comments. Maybe you have some other possibility to create glass crushes. And thank you for watching. See you next time.